Hey, what up, guys? Brandon Sports Autographs, TTM through the mail. Uh, we got a package in today. Uh, Phil Nierko. First up, let's see what we got here. 1966 Tops. A 1986 Donruss. A 19, what is this, 88 score. I got him in gold. I, the reason I asked him to sign one of the cards in gold is because I haven't, I haven't ever asked for or sent out for a card signed in gold. So I was just wondering what it would look like. And I thought it would look a lot better than this. It's already kind of like fading away because of the uh, the mail process system. So, so that's a bummer. But oh well, it's still a cool success, I guess. I got him in blue sharpie on the on the good cards anyway, and also got him in gold on the eight by ten with this Hall of Fame inscription. If y'all can see that. Pretty cool picture. I get this all framed up and matted and everything, so looks pretty cool. All right, and here's the envelope. I sent this out a uh, 10, 16, 13. Received about today 10, 23, 13. I canceled my stamps, but uh, uh, also I sent him thirty dollars for these items right here. I thought they were like five bucks a card. 10 bucks a photo plus five bucks for the Hall of Fame inscription but he uh, he sent this back to me right here hold on a second uh, yeah he sent this out right here um, due to the increase in requests for autographs I have decided to start charging for these requests below is the price list I mean, it's still reasonable, but according to this, I think I should have sent him like 10 or 15 more bucks, so he was nice enough to go ahead and sign everything. That's pretty cool, but now we know. Here's the price list. I mean, he's a Hall of Famer, so oh, no bats, jerseys, gloves, or hats. Oh, that sucks. But still pretty reasonable price list. He's a Hall of Famer. Great guy, great TTM autographer. A uh, little bit of information about him. He's a five-time All-Star, five-time Globe Glove Award, uh, 1980 Roberto Clemente Award, 79 Lou Gehrig Award, uh, pitched a no-hitter August 5th, 1973, uh, Baseball Hall of Fame, 97. Um, he's known for his knuckleball, um, hopping around and everything at the plate. I mean, him and his brother were uh, the winningest brothers in baseball history. Second to them was uh, the video yesterday, Gaylord Perry and his brother Jim. Um, um, but uh, here's some quotes from uh, some people of what it was like to hit against him. Uh, Trying to hit that thing is a miserable way to make a living. And I work for three weeks to get my swing down. Pat and Phil Nierko messes it up in one night. Pete Rose. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Uh, he simply destroys your timing with that knuckleball. It comes in flying in there, dipping and hopping like crazy, and you just can't hit it. Ernie Banks. Uh, it's like watching Mario Andretti park a car. Ralph Connor, he's a Hall of Famer as well. Um, so, pretty pretty cool. I don't know if you, you watched those uh, old cartoons. Bugs Bunny and all that when they throw the baseball and it goes up and down and side to side and back and forth well that's kind of what the knuckleball did but not in that extreme motion but pretty cool success today uh, I'll post his address right here if y'all want to send something out to him um, but yeah like and subscribe and peace out